Hey, it's Kevin Kenny. This is Rock Arena Radio and DJ Mo. Tobias of Ghost is hanging out. We're talking all about the band's new cover EP, Phantomime. Now, Tobias, I've always been fascinated by the relationship between origin and environment, especially with regards to, you know, the influence it has on the music that comes out of any given area. In the States, we got Seattle. It's this dark, gloomy town. A lot of musicians inside most of the year. Leads to a lot of listening, and a lot of eclectic listening, and then, therefore, eclectic music. You grew up and live in Sweden. What kinds of music did you get inspired by? I think that part of my fascination with music and uh, just pop culture in, in general comes from the fact that when I was little, my uh, brother was a teenager because he was 13 years older than I am. So I was very early exposed to teenage influence, teenage TV, music, radio, you know, all that sort of things. And obviously, I not only was I interested in it, but I, my, I was also my brother's little brother. So. Of course, I wanted to do everything that he did, and I was interested in everything that he was interested in. My music taste comes from the amount of different influences and uh, stimuli that I got from uh, my brother on one hand, who was a very keen music lover. He was sort of going back into the 70s with punk rock and hard rock. And then I had my mom, who was, you know, born in the 40s. She had the whole 60s with her and also 50s and earlier because she was not only a big fan of classic rock music and Bob Dylan and Janis Joplin, Beatles, Stones and all that stuff. So I got that for free, And but she's, she was also a big jazz fan. And there, there was no restriction either. I mean, of course, I, I had to go to bed at a certain point and I couldn't swear nonstop, but my brother taught me how to swear and say things that he thought sounded funny just because I said that. And my mom was sort of like, that's bad, but also kind of funny. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, uh, we didn't have a lot of money, but I had a lot of cultural capital, which I'm really happy about now. Kevin Kenny back with you on Rock Arena Radio and DJ Mode, hanging out with Tobias of Ghost, talking about Phantomime, the band's new covers EP. Now, I'd love to talk about each of the five covers individually, but first, the song you led with, Genesis's Jesus He Knows Me. What was it about that song that made you not only want to cover it, but lead with it for the project? It became the song during the demo process even all the demos for the covers were made uh, simultaneous in tandem with uh, the Impera writing so as soon as I had the first like immediate demo of Jesus it just felt like that is the most poignant track and we don't really have a song like that that's up tempo like that so it felt like it, it had a natural place in in the set I knew that we're going to be able to play that, that song pretty well and uh, as the ideas started forming around what this album release was going to be, but that turned into an EP, Jesus was definitely like, that is going to be in, in the EP now. Absolutely. That's the track. That just screams single. And also, lyrically, it is pretty on the nose, like on contemporary winds. Just let's put it that way. And uh, in a way that I actually found it not to be maybe a decade ago. A decade ago, it felt a little bit dated. Not as a song. I, mean, I still love the song, but like lyrically, it had like just vibes that felt like, uh, yeah, they, this was about like how things were in the 80s. And yeah, back then it was a little bit weirder. And But, you know, turn the clock ahead a little and all of a sudden it's even weirder. And um, that also made me feel that not only is this a good song, it's an important song. There, It's, it's important to shine a light onto the abuse and the, the trickery of uh, people who are uh, abusing others. Well, you definitely took it and made it your own in a whole new way. It's so cool to listen to the songs back to back. We got more to talk to Tobias about. He's not going anywhere. Back with Tobias of Ghost on Rock Arena Radio and DJ Mode. It is Kevin Kenny. The new EP, Phantomime, is out now. Five cover songs from Ghost. Now, doing cover songs is nothing new for you, of course. Longtime Ghost fans know that. Is there something about the process of creating cover versions that informs your own songwriting process? Working with covers can be uh, as inspiring and, and uh, fun as it can actually be disheartening and, and actually break your, your back a little because you, you get, sometimes you get floored by how simple other writers have made their songs and how complicated you're making yours. And uh, so you, you can get struck by, you know, a slight case of all the good songs are already written, you know, I'm done. But that is just part of uh, writing, I think. I believe that a lot of writers can agree or recognize that feeling that every new song that you're writing is a new puzzle, is a new riddle that you need to solve. And it doesn't matter 
if you've written several songs that people like, now you have to do something else. Like, yeah, if you made a few jokes, but you have to come up with a new joke about something new, different. One little trick as a songwriting ABC, if you want to just have a healthy exercise, is to disregard the whole concept of releasing a song. You can work with others' lyrics and just write another track underneath it. And we have done covers like that. We did um, Here Comes the Sun, for example, which is obviously a very well-known song. It's written in, in major key. And I rewrote the whole song in minor key, which dramatically changed the sort of overall ambiance. And therefore, it turned into uh, you know uh, an appealing idea to record and release as a Beatles cover. But theoretically, what you can do if you're just doing it in the comfort of your own home, you don't have to worry about releasing anything is that you can write another song over lyrics and if it turns out really good and it doesn't even resemble the original anymore you just write new lyrics and you have a new song like that's what you and so that's how you can work with covers you know transform something and then you change whatever you need to change in order to make it your own i mean your own song Back with Tobias of Ghost. It is Kevin Kenny, Rock Arena Radio and DJ Mode. We are talking all things Ghost and the new EP Phantomime that is out and available now on Amazon Music. You guys have been a big headliner for quite a while now going back. What's something that's happened in the crowd when you were playing a concert that, you know, you'll never forget? Out of all the shows, you'll never forget this one story. You see things when you're, or when you're standing on stage. One thing I'm happy that we don't see as much of nowadays because we've, we've been trying to, I don't know if the right word is police, but we've been trying to get the crowd to understand that, that we, we have a mixed crowd. We have a lot of different people. And um, when we were still doing primarily the, the big clubs and, and the theaters, and it was more than likely it was going to be like a, um, an age limit, you know, 18 years old or over. For some reason, because of the, uh, the density of like indie girls and all these sort of tough guys that were there, it was pretty common that you saw someone's boyfriend getting into fights with dudes that was sort of too rowdy or accidentally hit his girlfriend or something like that just because they had different ways of seeing, you know, the metal people wanted to sort of like embrace the fact that we're a metal band and when you're a metal show, you, you rage. And then you, they bump into someone who's like half their size and, and then it would just erupt fights. Everywhere we played, it was like 10 fights. So you stand up on stage and you see that, which is it can be pretty alarming. It can look really bad, especially when you're, you know, mid-sentence or you're right in your moment and then you see someone just getting his teeth knocked out. I'm very happy that that not happening so much anymore because we've, I don't know if they're all gone, but that is just dramatically, dramatically dampened, which I'm happy to see because we have a lot of kids on our shows nowadays and a lot of people, different sizes, different backgrounds, different ages. And so it became a little bit messy sometimes when we were doing that. It was fun though. I mean, I, I come from a metal background as well. It's, it's fun when you have a raging crowd. I like that, but not raging as in rage and hate and anger. So um, that I think is a positive sign. Well, I got to speak as a ghost fan. Ghost shows, any of them are unforgettable and will generate a story or two. Thanks so much, Tobias, for coming by Rock Arena Radio and DJ Mode. You're welcome anytime. You're part of the family now. And Phantom Mime, the new covers EP, is available right now on Amazon Music.